one and all, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, all the different people of Earth and beyond, friends, family, allies, and animals, to the mysterious world under our feet of Beth the Bunny and her fabulous friends. Welcome to the transmissions of Rabbit Ears. Where's Beth? I don't know. Should we just start the show? That seems quite rude. Would you ever start the show without me? Well, it would be a bit different starting the show without you because the man is like, we did have to start the show without you once, but how can you have a show called Rabbit Ears without the rabbit ears? Hmm. Like, that's a lie. Okay, well, I guess we'll just wait until Beth shows up. Do you hear anything? Do you think she's coming? I hear something. <laughs> hi, oh. guys, hi, guys, hi, guys, hi, guys. Beth, why sorry. are you so late? I'm so sorry I'm late. I'm so sorry. I was working on a story for the paper oh. because guess what? Guess what? What, 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 what? There's a real superhero in the city. A for real life superhero. Really? A real life superhero. So you're trying to find out who it is? Yes, I'm trying to find out who it is. That's why I was so late. Oh, it sounds like a really good story. A very good story. I only barely got here in time to even oh. film at all. Wow, that's... Uh, I'm really excited to find out more about the superhero. Me too, so hurry up. We gotta go. Okay, so what's the first thing we're watching today on the show? Well, first of all, we've got to watch inanimated objects about oh. superpowers. Oh. Superpowers? Like you... Superpowers! It's almost like this is by design, this topical almost. situation that we have going on here. I love it. Okay, let's check it out. I'm Kayla. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. You know, Kayla, I was watching these really cool movies the other day, and all of the characters in these movies had superpowers. And it really, really got me thinking like, if I had one superpower and I could use this superpower every day, what would it be? And that was a tough question. What do you think? That is a really tough one. I could think of so many powers that I would like to have. So if I had to choose just one, it could get really tricky. I don't know. I can maybe narrow it down to invisibility. Oh, maybe? That's good. I've been reading a lot of Harry Potter books and invisibility is definitely a cool thing to have. You can see what all the bad guys are up to, you know? Yeah, yeah I can hear that. You know, I was thinking about it and I think that if I had to pick one superpower, it would be teleportation. Because I spend way too much of my life in the car and because I want to go places that I can't fly to or I can't drive to. So if I had it my way, I would be able to teleport wherever I wanted. So I would like wake up, get ready, and boom, I'd be at work. Go down the and fire chute like Harry Potter or fireplace. <laughs> that would be fun. It just, um, I was thinking it would be nice to, like, on my lunch break, instead of going for a walk, I would teleport and be like, oh, I just went for a walk in Paris. I'm like, that would be lovely. And then I'd come back after an hour. I think, yeah, invisibility for me, or my other one that I was thinking of would be to kind of, like, have, it's not, like, a real power, I guess, but kind of, like, an encyclopedia computer built into my brain. Oh, so you like, could, like, smart? access... Um, anything you see, you can like identify it, identify characteristics about it with plants, animals, that kind of thing. I you see, that would be cool. That might even be better than super strength. Really helpful. Like be yeah. like a built-in Google. Yeah, exactly. That was like super quick. It pulled up exactly what I needed to know about the item or person or thing. Um, and I'm just going to go now. I'm heading off to the snake zoo to go visit the snakes because uh, I really like them. So I thought that would be fun. That's great. I'm going to head off to a uh, candy store. Oh, that's my kind of place. Okay, well, it was great meeting you, Kayla. Thanks for talking to me on the street. Yeah, thanks, Jess. This was awesome. Sounds good. Bye, Kayla. Bye.
Julia animation. You know what? The kid can animate. That's all I'm saying. She really can. She really, she's really very good. She's amazing. <laughs> she, she is. She she's, is. She's amazing. But you know who else is amazing? Superheroes. Yes, yeah, superheroes. But I was thinking of myself, actually. Oh. <laughs> I'm pretty amazing. Because well. I'm gonna sing a song today. And you can sing along if you if you if you get the idea of what it is. The song I wrote many 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 years ago. It's a song I wrote. You guys ready for this business? I love cheese. Oh yes I do. I love cheese and so do you. I love cheese and it's all right. Cheese is fun. Do you like my song? I love cheese. <laughs> Excellent. That was a great song and great dancing. Yeah, wow, you're a heck of a dancer, Beth. Thanks, I took dance lessons. I thought so. You know, is it on your resume? It is on my resume. Excellent. I have a very lengthy resume. <laughs> I'm not surprised, you motorcycle driving bunny. Well, uh, gotta expect the unexpected. I do. And what are we watching next? <laughs> what are we, oh, bless, bless you. Thank you. <laughs> are you okay? What are we watching next, Beth? Next, we're watching children's stories from Julia's animations, and after that, the thoughtful dodo. Here we go. We're gonna find out how Julia does her amazing animations. <gasps> Let's check it out. What is your name? Julia. What is my name? Sarah. Tell me a little bit about yourself. Um. My name is Julia. Uh, I do animations. Uh, 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 I have two pets. Nagoom, Lizard, Rose, 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 Rosie, Cat, Calico, Girl, Nagoom's a boy. I like green. How old are you? I'm ten years old. Why do you like making animations? Uh, it's fun. Other than <laughs> that, uh, you, uh, it's kind of like making your drawings come alive. Cause yes. you go like that. Are you happy they are, are you happy they are being shown on rabbit ears? Yeah, I think they look nice on rabbit ears. <laughs> Can you please show us how to make an animation and tell us what you are doing? Okay. Um, yes. I'm going to be drawing Whoopi, who is a mouse, and he's blue, and he wiggles his tail. <laughs> okay. Yeah! First you do the round, then you make the semicircle. He has a pointy nose, but then you make it nice and smooth, the little knees, and then you have the little feet, 
that's a big feet. And then you have the little feet. How long have you been making animations? Since COVID started. And since you showed me. Anyway, now we actually get to the animation part. This thing adds another page, but what we really want to do is press this because it adds a page, but it actually keeps it the same, the same page. Exactly. We erase the ta table tail. And add a new tail. Like. You do like, when you're making something, you, not like that, but you want it to kind of lean back into it, so you make it like curved, so that it makes sense. Like if it was just straight, it wouldn't be as exciting and fluent. And then like after, you know, you follow through and then make it go like that, and that's what follow through is. Blah, blah, blah. So you go like that. This thing controls how fast it is, so if you did that, it goes faster. <laughs> <laughs> how many pages do you think each animation has? Depends how long it is. On Stories, down. like, up to a, at least a thousand. Because there's a lot of things, pages you need to add to make it smooth. Yes. Yeah. This is flipanim.com. Flipanim.com. Create flipbook animations online. Yeah. And one more page to do the trick, and then he's a smooth tail. Moving the thing. Yeah. And then things will get more exciting. <laughs> and it's done! Oh, and now I just need a background. Yeah, that, that's easy. I always do the same background for Whoopi because he likes cookies. So it's a cookie background. And it's done. It is done. It is beautiful. Okay, I show you my favorite, and this is my genie, and he's not really a genie because he doesn't actually grant wishes. Tell me your darkest secrets. This is supposed to grant my wish. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, audience. Goodbye. <laughs> um, goodbye. With any. <laughs>
Well, next up, we've got Hank's Letter Stories, episode D. Wow. Then after that, we get to see Pun Pun the Goat and Dave. Yay! Dennis was a dirty dog who didn't do the dishes. His dad, David, didn't like his demeanor and demanded some direction in Dennis's life. There was no doubt that a dark day was dawning. But Dennis had a detailed development to discuss with his dad, David. Do you design dishwashers? Dennis asked. David the daddy didn't understand his direction, but Dennis defended his dramatic desire to never do the dishes. I don't design dishwashers, Dennis, but I do distribute dollars to my daughter Debbie when she does do the dishes. Dennis was devastated. The end. Thank you for coming to my house after our very exciting adventure getting to the uh, the county fair and everything. It was such a fun time with you. Yes, I'm, I'm glad you invited me over. I'm having a lovely week, that's for sure. Yes, it is a, a beautiful week. I cannot tell you enough how, how your friendship means to me, how much it means to me. I love it. It is a beautiful friendship we have. Yeah, well, you know... I wasn't always this nice, you know? Oh, yeah? What kind of person were you before? Well, to be honest, I was addicted to the hokey pokey. Oh, no. You were addicted to the hokey pokey. Yeah, but it's okay. I turned myself around. Well, I guess this is, uh the end of the show. Wait, wait, wait. I have breaking news about the superhero story. What is it? What is it? Okay, so he's not the kind of superhero that can fly, but arguably he's even better. Okay. Guess who he is? Who? Joey the Garbage Man. That is a kind of superhero, though. A total superhero. He collects everybody's trash and he keeps the city clean. I am so excited. I actually get to have an interview with him. I get to sit down. We get to talk about all his methods for sanitation of the entire city. And I think it is just so cool. So I've got to run really quickly. But before I go, you got to remember that a tiger skin is striped just like its fur. Cool. See you next time, everybody. Hey, Lorelai. What? If you had a superpower, what would it be? It would be Elsa power with freezing. You would freeze things? Yeah. What yeah. kind of things would you freeze? Uh, uh, that and that and that and that. That's a lot of things. Uh-huh. Would you freeze me? No. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>